We will look at three kinds of questions. Factual questions. How, why, can kind of questions. Questions that can be answered from forums and tickets. The same technology can power both existing search boxes or chat box. Let's first use the search box and ask a factual question. See, this is the difference. You get the exact answer, not a document that may have answers. If you want to see where the answer came from, you can do that as well. And if the user gives feedback, that will help the system learn from it and get better. Now let's switch to chat interface and ask a how, why, can kind of question. In this case, the system found answer in a user manual. This is important. Answer is not coming from a database of common questions and answers, nor is it coming from an FAQ. Note that just like the search interface, one can expand to see context and scroll through multiple answers if there are more than one found by the system, and the user can give feedback. Finally, let's ask a question that can be answered from forums and tickets. Here, answers provided by humans are surfaced without further interpretation. This technology recommends matching tickets, discussion forums, knowledge base articles, and FAQs with a very high accuracy. In this case, the system found answer in a forum thread. If you notice, neither the topic of the post nor the description match the question. However, the system still figured that the question could be answered by one of the answers in that forum thread and it surfaced that answer. Now, that's not all. If you are wondering, what if I had asked the question differently? Let's try that as well and modify the earlier question. Well, you get the same top answer. Essentially, this system is fairly robust to rephrasing of questions. So, no matter how your users and support staff ask the questions, it still works.